in this example, we would like the derivative of the inverse tangent of 4x. This is a composition with 4x as the inside and the inverse tangent as the outside. Let's review the derivative of the inverse tangent function is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So the, to find the derivative of the inverse tangent of 4x, we have to use the chain rule, which says take the derivative of the outside, leaving the inside in, and multiply by the derivative of the inside, which in this case, the outside function, the inverse tangent, its derivative is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So in this case, that becomes 1 over 1 plus 4x quantity squared. See, the 4x goes inside where the x was. So instead of 1 over 1 plus x squared, we have 1 over 1 plus 4x squared. And it's important to put that 4x in parentheses because that's going to make a difference as we shall see. Okay, so that's the derivative of the outside. <clears throat> then times the derivative of the inside. The inside is 4x. The derivative of that is 4. Now making this look nice, this is 4 over 1 plus, and here's the significance of the parentheses, 4x quantity squared means 4x times 4x, which is 16x squared. And that's different from writing 4x squared like that without parentheses. That means just 4 times x squared. But the correct answer is 16 times x squared there. So the derivative of the inverse tangent of 4x turns into, by the chain rule, 4 over 1 plus 16x squared.